Hello everyone. In this video I show you how to assemble the Canon 2470 f2.8 USM lens after the aperture flex cable has been replaced with a new one. Recently I had this lens which has problems with the aperture. The problem was caused by a faulty flex cable, so I had to disassemble the lens, replace the flex cable with a new one and then assemble the lens. In this video I show you how to assemble the lens after the flex cable has been replaced. If you are interested in the disassembly video then the link is in the description below. Before I will start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to assemble the lens. I will use a PH30 screwdriver, a PH20 screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, metal tweezers and a plastic spudger. For cleaning the lens elements, I will use an air blower. For checking the lens elements, I will use a flashlight. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. Let's start the assembly by joining the aperture unit and the lens element. Put back the three screws. Tighten the screws. I would highly recommend to remove the dust particles from the lens elements with a dust blower and then check if there are any other dirt or fingerprint on the surface by using a flashlight. Do this before putting back all the other lens elements also. The next step is to put back the secondary aperture unit. Those two parts should be joined. The next step is to put back the aperture unit into the lens barrel. The pin of the secondary aperture unit should slide into that part of the lens barrel. Let's put back the flat cable holder.
Let's continue with putting back the front lens element. During this assembly, I put a mark on the front lens element, which was aligned with the flat cable. So now I find the uh, mark, then I put back the front lens element exactly as it was there originally. Use a plastic spudger to push down the front lens elements to its place. Put back the screws, but don't tighten them for now. When I disassemble the lens, I put the screws next to each other as I remove them, starting from the right side of the flat cable, so I can put them back to their original place. Rotate the colors of the screws to align the marks. Tighten the screws after all of the marks aligned. Put back the outer lens tube. Those two parts should be aligned. Put back the screw and its color. Put back the next lens tube. The flat cable should go through that hole. Put 
put back the screws and their sliders. When I disassemble the lens, I put the screws next to each other as I remove them starting from the right side of the flat cable, so I can put them back to their original place. Move the inner barrels of the lens to align the holes of the screws. Put back the screws. Zoom back a little bit until you see the silver line at the middle of the cutout. Put back the sliders. The next step is to put back the front lens element. There is a small spot on the side of the front lens element. This mark should be left from the flat cable as you see here in this video.
Pull back the three screws into the front lens element. Tighten the screws. The next step is to put back the USM motor. The USM motor should be connected to the focusing lens element. The lever of the USM motor and the focusing lens element should be connected. Slide on the USM motor. Put back the screws. Put back the metal cover, then the screw into it. Put back the manual focus ring. The ring should be connected to the USM motor. Rotate back and forth to make sure that it moves the USM motor. Also check if the manual focus ring rotates the focusing lens element at the rear of the lens. Rotate the USM motor to infinity and then the middle of the focus scale window should be at the infinity mark on the scale. Put back the rear lens sleeve. During that, guide the flex cables to their place. Put back the screws.
The next step is putting back the rear lens element. The adhesive tape on the rear lens element should be at the aperture flex cable. Put back the screws. Adhere the aperture flex cable to the rear lens element. Make sure that the flex cable is between the rear lens element and the plastic holder. Put back the zoom ring. Rotate the zoom ring until it falls into its place. Zoom out a little bit. There is a cutout inside the lens where the zoom lever should slide into. Put back the zoom lever. Put back the screws. Test if the zooming is working. Put back the zoom brush. Align the marks and then put back the screw. Put back the cover. Put back the zoom rubber ring. Put back the PCB and align the flex cables. I would recommend to connect the aperture flex cable before putting back the screw, because it is easier to connect it if you lift up the PCB a little bit. Put back the screw. Connect the flex cables.
with my rear lens sleeve. Put back the battle bayonet. The holes in the side of the bayonet should be next to the electronic connector. Put back the screws. Put back the screws into the electronic connector. Put back the rear lens cover ring. We are done with assembling the lens. The next step is to test the aperture. I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time in my other videos.